usually I'm super disciplined. I don't give in to these sorts of things, but I just, I don't know what to say. It's an amazing, guilty, delicious, delicious habit. And I'm gonna bring you with me so you know exactly what I'm talking about. see since it's been about five no <laughs> it's been about two years <laughs> I don't know where five came from maybe it feels like five it's been about two years since I was last home ah, I'm starting to be feel a little bit claustrophobic and I'm finding that one of the ways to relieve this claustrophobia is through and I can't believe I'm gonna say this but basically going out to eat and if I can't travel, maybe my stomach can travel. So, for example, I went to a German restaurant two or three weeks ago and we had German food. They had, you know, German music inside the restaurant. They had German beer, most importantly. And that was amazing. We went up to the rooftop and could almost forget that we were in Macau just, just for a second, you know, since effectively I'm not able to leave. And if I do leave, there's no way that I would be able to be allowed back into Macau. So I've been indulging a little bit, not, not a lot. You know, primarily like on Saturdays is where I'll ease up a little bit and go out of my, go out of my way to get something um, that I wouldn't typically normally get in the middle of the week. So that's what we're doing today. It's something small, but God, is it good? And I really wish they don't even make small, medium, and large. It's just one size. So I really sort of savor it. And I enjoy my time there and I'm super comfortable. And I'm sure you're tired of me here and talking about it. So I'm sure you want to know where I'm going. So why don't we get going? Because I think we're going to run out of sunlight here pretty soon. Look at all those coffee spilled. <laughs> somebody spilled that coffee and that somebody is not gonna be me. Although, as you probably discovered now, it's uh, cafe mocha. So it's really more chocolate than coffee. Sort of the lounge area. Uh, it sounds like it might be kind of busy up there, I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm gonna try to not make a mess since it's filled to the brim here. So good. I know what you're thinking. Can't you get the same thing at Starbucks? No, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the shaved um, chocolate or what it is, or maybe more the atmosphere that feels very organic. I have a chocolate on me. I really did. <laughs> Sorry. I just um, couldn't help myself. Okay, dog, I'm backing up. <laughs> They'll take these bird cages with them to the park. Well, here's, here's, here's another two. Oh, that one's a little bird. 
And someone told me that the reason that they take them to the park is so that they'll pick up the songs from the other birds that are out in the wild. Um, I'm not sure if that's true, but in a way it makes sense. I can totally see that. So this person's got a lot of birds. Some of them are covered up, some of them aren't. Like, look at this guy, he's a little guy. Hi. I'm being watched by that dog back there. So, a little concerned. <laughs> Anyways, so, ah, this is the new habit I picked up. <laughs> what are you guys doing to uh, cope with this whole quarantine, pandemic, safety bubble, all this madness that's going on? How, how are you guys keeping up? You know, I, th I know that everyone has a different way of managing and coping and, you know, just getting by one day at a time. And that's kind of the way it's become now. It's just, you know, getting through one day at a time because planning for anything longer than a week just seems like impossible these days. So anyways, hope you like this video. You know, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you subscribe. Give me a like if you can. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.